right guys so um i've been using this bag nonstop for about a week and a half or so now um i even use it through christmas so i wanted to kind of do a quick little this is going to be more of a switching bag because i want to switch into my um elisa i think i said that properly now my elisa in the Celadon, um in the verona leather so i wanted to switch into that i'm sorry the lighting is really bad in here it's almost looking washed out and my phone is probably going to shut off because I have low power so um, I'm going to try to do this quickly I want to kind of go into a little review of how the leather is held up for me while using it um, just to kind of give you a heads up so I'm wanting to switch into this I don't know how this is going to work because the opening for this bag um, is kind of difficult to get in and out of as you know most of you know um, it kind of opens like this and I don't know how it's going to hold up for me to try and like film a video while holding it open because I usually film with one hand I usually hold my phone and I usually use my other hand here to you know get things in and out so I'm going to see if I can kind of put the flat maybe through this I don't know how that's going to work out maybe if I go like that it might stay okay I think I figured it out I put it through there so um I'll show you in a minute I did condition this bag um I conditioned more heavily the flap because it scratches easily and it was I have had experience with other bags that have scratched through shipping and things so I wanted to make sure I conditioned that really good I conditioned the handles really well and I conditioned the strap really well because it looked kind of dry um, I lightly conditioned the pebbled leather as well um, although you really can't tell that much um, so I'm gonna switch into this bag is what I'm wanting to do um, I did test it out in the water it rained a little bit um, this morning I don't know why it's not focusing sorry guys um, it did rain a little bit this morning here and this afternoon so I did after I conditioned it I took it out in the like the rain to see if you know it was sprinkling a little bit to see if it would water spot and as far as I can tell it did not so I'm gonna take that as this bag is okay that it won't water spot now like I said I did condition it with the Aussie leather cream leather conditioner um, this leather conditioner here um, that Laura uses, and I know a few other people use it as well, and that's what I have bought and been using. So, there's that. I'm going to try and hurry up along here and quit rambling on and on about things. So, um, I'm just going to go into the middle section here first. I don't really have many things in the other pockets. So, here's the main section here. As you can see, I'm filming on the floor today, so sorry that you're seeing the carpet because it's a really ugly color but that's where I wanted to do it today so I didn't have to like, make my bed and all that stuff today so in this zipper pocket I have my met prescription my notepad I have a couple of pens glass cleaner and a few other little things here a spare key a little tablet and my purse hanger and I think that's all, everything in the back pocket. And that back pocket in this, this is, by the way, the Dooney & Burke City Dawson, the regular size Dawson. That's a pretty good size back pocket there. Um, in the other section here, I have my little manicure set from Vera Bradley, my tissues. Um, I have um, YSL lipstick. I'm not sure what color this is or if you can see that. Okay, and then I have some... Rewetting drops, contact drops there. Um, and then in the back section here, I have my um, Florentine leather. I don't know if this is called small. I think it's called the Slim Small Cosmetic. I don't know. But it's in the Florentine leather, and it's in the color Baby Pink Cosmetic case. I'm going to set that kind of back there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to change this out or not. I think I'm going to change out into my black, the newest. like so I have a Safiano black um, credit card wallet wristlet or cell phone wallet wristlet thing I've recently purchased off Poshmark. I think I'm going to change into that out of this wallet. Um, this wallet's done really well in my bag. I know, do notice um, a few little dings, like right there. But it's done really well. Um, and I really like this style and this size in this bag. It fits really well in there with everything else. So, um, And then I have my cough drops contact lens solution, um, charger thing, hand lotion, gum wrapper that shouldn't be in there, 
I think that's everything from the main section. In this little pocket here, I have some lip balm. Um, if I can get in there. Um, and then I have a lip crayon, lip color thing, and then um, maybe a chapstick kind of thing. Um, in this pocket, which this does not have a snap on it, um, I have gum and mints. Um, a random penny that I don't know why is in there, and some hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. Um, and that's everything from in there. And then in this back pocket here, I have been keeping, there's a little receipt, my gloves, which it hasn't been really cold here, so I haven't really had to use these, so I may or may not take these out of my bag if they do not fit, I don't really know. But there's my gloves that I'm keeping, I've been keeping back there. And then I have my little mini umbrella, which I know this isn't going to fit. This needs to go back in my work bag, probably. Um, and then in the front pocket here, let me close this up. Um, I have a couple of little, a receipt and a business card. And I'm going to kind of set aside there, which that is really handy if someone hands you a business card to just kind of slip it in. I like that part. Um, and then my keys are there, and I think I don't think I have anything in these pockets, because they're really, to me, these pockets aren't very functional. It, it will take me forever to try and unzip this for you guys, so I'm sorry. Um, I don't think I have anything in either of these. Now, when it rained the other day, because um, I didn't want my phone to get wet, because I don't have, like, a otter box or life-proof case on it to keep it waterproof, I did put my phone in one of these um, zip pockets here, that way it wouldn't get wet. But everything else, I really don't care if it gets wet through this. But this bag, I took in the rain multiple times. Um, I'm really not seeing any, like, water spots. I mean, there's a little bit of, like, there. But I think that's just, like, a scratch. I'm not really seeing any water, true water spots on this from taking it in the rain. The leather has darkened a little bit, um, I've noticed. And... Though the actual city leather part, it definitely hasn't water spot. It just kind of rolls right off um, the smooth leather here. Now, I do have numerous scratches on this leather here, like there. I'm going to try and condition this and see what happens. I'm really nervous about this one, but, I mean, I'm going to use it. This is, like, my everyday bag that I'm going to start using because I really like the color. Now, this scratch kind of bothers me as well because this is a really, really deep scratch. Like, the leather almost peels up on that one. Um... The corners are doing pretty good, as far as I can see. Um, really, the leather's really broken in well. Like, it's it was kind of stiff, and now it's kind of really um, so a lot softer and more malleable, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I haven't had any pop problems with anything on this bag. So, before my phone dies, I'm going to try and switch into the Eli Elisa. I don't know why I want to call it Eliza, but the Elisa satchel. Um, and see what fits and what doesn't so I think I'm gonna start by putting everything in the back zip pocket that I need just so I have it which I put that in the wrong way sorry um because I put these things in this back zip pocket always um sorry I don't know if I'm showing you or not I think I'm I think it's in frame and my little eyeglass cleaner and I need to add a few like little wipes for my eyeglasses in there as well um in this pocket i had my tissues and my little um manicure set because this does have a back pocket and i can keep my keys and cell phone in it if need be which i probably will my little eye drops and i think i'm gonna put my lipstick in there as well maybe i'll put this in there too if it'll fit kind of here on top somewhere maybe maybe not okay um and then my this case fits I don't think I'm gonna put that there this case fits in there my wallet I ha I'd had in the other bag kind of in front of this cosmetic case let's see if it'll fit in front there okay that fits and then my hand lotion is to the side there um this was to the side here like that this I'm not sure if it's gonna fit or not I kind of had it there that fits kind of right there um these go in this snap pocket which this is a snap pocket here sorry I hope I'm there we go sorry it 
said I only have 10% battery life, so I'm going to have to kind of hurry a little bit more. I think I have most everything in here. It'll be a better fit with this zip pocket once this wallet I change out into the black one, which I think I'm going to do. Because it'll match a little better as well. Um, you know, kind of just throw this in here to the side maybe. Because it doesn't really fit well anywhere else. Um, cough drops. Kind of shove in there. My gloves, I think I might just put them in the top here, although I could put them in the back pocket if I really wanted to. And then I think I'll just put that, um, my keys. Oh, my hand sanitizer. I forgot to put that in there. Sorry, guys. This is what the flap does, though, if you don't have it, like, what I did was I kind of weaved it in through this handle here, which I'm not sure is the best thing to do for the flap, but, I mean, that's what I did to keep it open. And it helped for the video, at least. Um... It seems to go back well. If you can see, though, I did condition the flap. Um, here, let me show you the little tongue and loop thing here. This was all scratched up, which it kind of still has some scratches on it, but not as bad as before and not as noticeable. And they kind of came out when I conditioned it, the big ones. Um, this didn't have any real scratches on it. Um, I do notice some indentations kind of here, but those don't really bother me. And it does feel a little, like, less dry, because it did feel kind of dry, the flap did. And the handles are a little bit better. So I'm kind of hoping that it stays well. I'm going to try and condition it regularly and see if that makes it um, kind of withstand a little better. Because to me it kind of felt really fragile when I first got it. So I'm going to use it for probably about a week if I like it and see how it holds up. Um, this back pocket. Now this might be a problem with this leather. I really don't know. I'm going to do it anyway just because... You know, that's how I want to do it, but I'm going to slide my keys in there, and that way that I can pull them out, and then my phone will go in this side here, but, you know, these keys may or may not scratch the leather. They'll probably scratch the inside handle. I'm hoping they don't scratch the flap, but if they do, they do. I mean, I'm carrying the handbag. Um, It is kind of heavy. Um, I almost think it's heavier than that city satchel that I was just carrying with all my things in there. But it did hold nearly everything that the other one did. Um, the only thing I really couldn't fit was my umbrella. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry the lighting's really bad in here. But, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day.